Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chip coming to you today from my craft room to give you guys a full sneak peek on this coming MICA subscription box. Now, this box is amazing and it's totally different than the last time, so I'm really excited to show this one to you guys in the video to show it to you guys on paper as well as to show it to you guys on some tumblers that I've already done with it, but I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and get the camera turned down and show you guys what's in the box. All right, you guys. Here it is, our mica box for the month of October. Like I said, very excited about this. So for those of you who don't want to know what's in this box and you don't want any spoilers, turn the video off now because there's spoilers coming. In three, two, one. All right, ta-da, here are the colors for the box. You have Maverick, Riddler, Eclipse, Velvet Cloak, and Must See. The box is on the floor. We are done with the box. So these are the five colors of mica powder. They are our awesome pearlescent micas. And this box is very fun, you guys, because they're all white. Yes, go ahead, take a moment, take that in. Look at how they're just all white. But that's okay, because just like in glitter, you can have mic white mica that will give you different effects on different color bases. So the first one is Riddler and I'm gonna try to hold this up so you guys can see, hold on. Let me stand up for a minute. So if you look here, <laughs> Riddler has a little bit of a green shift in the jar and then you have must see, which gives you a little bit of a blue shift. Velvet Cloak gives you a little bit like of almost like a pink kind of a shift. Eclipse gives you a gold shift. Oops. And Maverick gives you a purple shift. So I have all of these done on cups and I'm gonna show them all to you. So first I'm gonna do is show them to you dry. And remember when I say dry, that means it's not under epoxy. And for some reason, my daughter has hidden all of the black construction paper and copy paper. So we're just gonna put it on white, but don't you worry because I have two cups here, one with white paint, one with black paint, so you can see them on here as well. But we're gonna first pour them out like we do normally. All right, so we're gonna start with the Riddler first, which I'm gonna move the cup over here. There we go. All right, so the Riddler. I'm going to be covered in mica in about five seconds. All right. I've learned, by the way, if you tap the top of this of the um, seal, it helps all the extra fall so you don't end up with a big plume of mica. You still end up with it, but whatever. All right, so this is Riddler on the seal. It's just, it's got a really nice, cool green shift. And we're just gonna pour it. Oh, that just looks really wrong. All right. So Riddler, of course, has, it's just your normal pearlized white mica. I know that seems kind of boring, but I'm gonna just use my fingers. Like I said, I'm gonna get covered in mica. So I have just a white, this is just a white spray painted tumbler. And I'm just gonna take my finger and I could get a brush. That would make more sense, but whatever. All right, so if I put it on the cup, I think I'm gonna have to stand for this whole video, which is totally fine. So you can kind of see, you end up with a little bit of a, a shift to the cup. Just a little bit. And again, it's a white base, so it's hard to kind of tell on there, but if you put it on the black base, You can really start to see the color shine on there. And you can see the cool green shift. Wipe that on my pants. So this though, is what it looks like under epoxy. And this is just a cup that I did white, white spray paint here, black spray paint on the bottom here. Glitter stuck to the bottom, of course. So you can see how on the white, you just get a subtle green shift. And then, now there's glitter on everything. Um, and then on the bottom where it was a black base, 
you get that really nice green shift. And I will tell you that from what I'm seeing here versus what you're seeing here on the video, the green in the video looks a lot more, what's the right word, like a darker green, like foresty green. Um, but what I'm seeing, it's a little bit lighter than what it is. But anyways, this is, it's just a nice, pretty thing. To, it's pretty and it's cool. And please ignore my spray paint drips. I did not spray paint well when I made these, but that's okay. This side's pretty. <laughs> um, but that's okay. It's just for the video. Um, so anyway, so you get a really unique shift on this, especially on a wine glass, because you get to see the the round, so it gives you that really cool like shift of the colors. So anyway, this is Riddler. Riddler. That's why we named it green, made it green. Um, so that's Riddler. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in the jar without that flake of glitter. And these will be really cool, like on Milky Way tumblers and stuff, because you can kind of match the the white mica that you would normally use as a, just a white and match it to the color of the actual shift. Or the, I'm sorry, you guys. I can't talk today. The words, Caitlin. The glitter. <laughs> God, this is so bad. All right. Must see is going to be a blue white shift that goes blue on a black base let's see so you can kind of see the blue shift in there all right so just gonna pour it on the paper all right so like i said it's just a plain white mica i want to board on paper let's see here I'm going to be covered. This is going to be so funny. You know who would love this? Keely, because Keely loves to play with the mica powder. All right, so you can see on my finger real well. All right, so you can see the blue shift in there just a little bit. But once it's under epoxy, it really brings out the shifting in the color. But on the black base... Oop. I'm just going to line it up next to Riddler. There we go. So on the black bait, see, I didn't do a good job spray painting this one either. <laughs> I ended up switching spray paint cans after I did this because of how bad the drips were. So this is dry again. Just brushed on there with my finger on a black base. And then you can really start to see the blue come out. But then once you get it under epoxy, that blue just pops. So this is, again, same thing, white spray paint top, black spray paint on the bottom. And it's just a beautiful, cool, you get the blue shift up here in the white. And then when it's on the black base, you just get that straight blue shift. Oh, love this one. Musty is very pretty. I like that one a lot. And I'm not a big fan of blues. They get used a lot, a lot, a lot. I do a lot of cups of blue, but red's my favorite. Again, so okay, go back on there. So, oh goodness, y'all, I'm like so awkward today because I'm having to stand and everything. All right, so this is must see, white base, black base. All right, so the next one we'll do is Velvet Cloak. All right, hold on. Try to clean these cups off. This one's, hold on guys, I hate to do this, but I need a paper towel. Because <laughs> my hands are getting covered in mica. All right, so okay, Velvet Cloak. It's got a little bit of a pink kind of shift. I think, I mean, again, it's, we named it Velvet Cloak because it's more of a velvety color. So you can see the shift here. It's a little bit of a pink. And you 
can just see the sparkle here. Gorgeous sparkle. Love that way. And I gotta look. Okay. Yeah. So that's velvet cloak. Okay. So velvet cloak on a white base. Again, under epoxy, it'll pop a lot more than it does when it's dry. So you can kind of get that little shift here. But when you put it on a black base, you can really start to see that color come through. But pink, this one's like extra sparkly. All right, so that's it on a black base dry. And then once you put it on under epoxy, you end up with this really cool purpley pink shift that looks kind of like velvet colored. And then on a white base, of course, you end up with the same, that light pink in there. It just turns out really cool. Again, it's a huge difference between when it's dry versus wet. And all I did to apply this on here was use, um, oh my gosh, Caitlin words. I used tack it and just tacked it, tack it and then brushed it on there so it would coat it evenly. So that is um, Velvet Cloak. Back in the jar. This one, maybe you can see a little. No. Nope. Nope. These micas don't want to play well. Not for the video. All right. So that's Velvet Cloak. Let me get the lid back on. And again, there you go. Super pretty. I love when a color can surprise people. But like these are. All right, so next we're gonna do Eclipse. There we go. So Eclipse is the one that is white with a gold. Um, whoop, that one kinda went poof. So you can see it's got that gold shift to it. All right, so here we go. You can see it now. The pearl shift to it, or you can just see it floating around the room. All right, hold on, let me. It's on my... There we go. can start to see the gold pop through on the white base but then once you get it on the black base the gold really starts to pop through and then let me see let me make sure I grab the right there we go and then this, sorry y'all, they're static today, is the gold on a black base. And this is of course the same color on a white base. And it's just so cool because you get such an interesting shift in the colors. Such a, It's a good gold too, that's what I like about it. Then I love that you can see the gold up here on the white, gives you a real nice pearlescent look and then you get the gold straight up on the black base. All right, so then, so that's Eclipse. Right there. And then the last one we're going to show you guys is, one second, is a Maverick. And Maverick if does, it's white, and then the shift is purple. So let's see, there's the purple shift in there. It's 
kind of a weird thing to show. Keep showing you white mica. All right, so on, you can see it kind of on my finger, but on a white base, you're gonna end up with that slight purple shift to it. But then when you get it on a black base, you end up with that purple shift. which is really cool. And then of course, once it gets under epoxy, that purple just really pops and gets super dark and rich in the tone. So you end up again with the white base, you get that just, it's white with just a slight purple shift, but on a black base, it is just straight purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love these micas. my last paper anyway so and that so this one here is maverick love these these are so fun y'all so let me see if i can do this and lay them so you can kind of see them all out together this will be fun if they stay where they're supposed to stay How to make something that is round stay put. All right. I'm trying to make sure they all fit in the video. All right. So you have, let me move some stuff. I'm going to make as much noise as I can. Riddler, which is going to give you the green on a black base or white with a green shift on a white base. Maverick will give you a nice purple bait with a black base and on a white base, give you a white to a purpley shift. You can kind of see the purple here with the light. Eclipse is going to be a gold on a black base and white with a gold shift, which you can see here. Velvet Cloak, of course, is giving you this beautiful velvet color with the on a black base. On a white base, it's going to give you the velvet color shift on the white. Must See gives you this beautiful blue. And on a white base, of course, it gives you the white with a blue base. So let me get the camera flipped up and we will finish this video out to talk about the colors one last time. And we'll be right back, one second. So like you guys have just seen, these five micas are amazing. Um, I Like I showed you and I'll show them all to you again very quickly, but the way that they shift on white to black is amazing, which is really cool because then if you put them on other base colors, you're gonna get different colors and tones and stuff and it'll be really cool. So like I showed you guys a minute ago, Maverick, which is again, this beautiful white, and you can kind of see the little shift there, does this amazing white to dark purple when you put it on a black base. And it's cool because you get kind of like a really cool chameleon effect without the crazy cost of a chameleon, which is really nice. But again, it just looks really cool. And it's funny because you can see the light reflecting off the window again, but that's okay. So anyway, so this is Maverick again. Hold on, let me see if I can hold up right, there we go. Maverick again on a white base here, black base here to give you that really cool effect so you can see how it looks. So that's Maverick. And then you have Eclipse, which again, I love a good gold. So anytime I can see something like this, it just makes me happy. So you have Maverick, I'm um, sorry, Eclipse, which is upside down, there you go, Eclipse, ha ha. And it's got that coal, that really nice gold look to it. It's kind of like a greenish gold. But um, with the white on the top to black. And again, it's just a really cool, unique color. Love how that one looks. Let's see, what else? We have Must See. <laughs> I love a good pun. Um, which is that nice, cool blue with the white shift. Or sorry, nice white with a cool blue shift to it. Which again, on the blue ba on black base turns blue. I cannot speak today, as y'all can tell. Uh, but this is again, this is Must See. And then we have Riddler, which is this cool green on the black. When it's not, it's just that cool white with the green shift, which again, this is Riddler. 
super pretty color. Love this one, especially this would actually work for like a Grinch kind of green. Again, depends on which Grinch you're going for, but it could be a Grinch green on a black base. And then you have Velvet Cloak, which gives you that kind of maroony kind of pinky purple um, color on here. And again, that's Velvet Cloak. So again, these five colors are awesome. You're going to be able to do so many different things with these micas, um, which is really the best thing ever when you can do multiple things with them. I actually want to do... Um, <laughs> Like I said, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on the wine glasses, since I have a set of five of them, kind of make it a fun little thing. Um, Saturdays, of course, you would need a much bigger glass, but that's fine. We'll figure that out later. Um, otherwise, this is the box. We will have these pictures and everything now on our website, and I will post in the description below the link, which has the secret link to the site where it has a password so you can enter the website and go into it and see these colors uh, kind of more up close and personal than just this video. Um, and it's just pictures basically of everything and then a link back to this video. Um, otherwise, don't forget that the last day to sign up for this box is, of course, the last day of the month. And all of these boxes will start shipping out on October 3rd, I believe, because that's the Monday. Um, but we will get these out basically on October 3rd and they will all ship out. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below or you can always email us at info at glitterchimp.com. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up for a like. Also, if you aren't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hop over on Facebook and join our Facebook groups. Um, it's really cool community where you can get to know everybody else within the community of crafting and tumbler making and all the other projects that people work on at home. Um, otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day and we will see you guys again very soon. See you guys soon. Bye.